let's take a little bit of time to talk about some advanced cue playback. Uh, looking at things beyond just cue timing, uh, if you remember when we looked at the cue list in our uh, basic cue playback, uh, we didn't really touch on anything like weight, link, follow, and rate. So let's cover those things right now uh, and what they mean to each cue. Some of them are pretty self-explanatory. Wait, for instance, is really just that. It is a time that you can specify to the console so that when you push go, the console will wait a certain period of time before it actually execute the queue. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I have Q101 already built. Wait is a button right here on your keyboard next to time. And I'm gonna say wait, and my command prompt will say enter the wait time up fade. I can specify up or down fade wait times. In this case, I'm just gonna pick one. I'm gonna do one second for both. And you'll see here now that wait has a one second delay. So if I say Q101 go, nothing's gonna happen for one second, and then the queue executes. So that's wait. Related to wait is follow, and I'm gonna talk about follow right now. What follow does is allows you to specify a time that starts counting down when you press go on a queue. When the follow time reaches zero, the console will automatically execute the next queue uh, in your queue list. So for instance, if I take Q102, and I want to add a follow time. Now follow doesn't have a hard key on your console. It's actually a soft key. Uh, it's going to be soft key number five. Uh, and I can enter a follow time and let's just say uh, three seconds. And again, follow is always in time. And you'll see here in, in your queue list that 102 has a follow time of three. So I'm going to say Q102 uh, go. The follow time is indicated here. When follow reaches zero, Q103 automatically executes. A uh, link is a method that you can take a queue and link it to another queue in your list, say to jump out of order, or you can link a queue to a macro. Let's talk about how you do a link. I'm going to pick queue 103, which I already have built. A link is a key, a hard key on your console. It's right next to group. I'm going to hit link, and my command prompt says to link to a queue, press the queue number, or to link to a macro, press enter macro. In this case, I'm going to link to a queue number because I want to go back up to say Q101. Uh, so the queue number I want is 101, enter, and now you'll see that Q103 links to Q101. Uh, so now if I do 103 and I hit go, uh, Q101 is the next queue in line uh, in that case. The other item here that we have is rate. And what rate allows me to do is take a queue and assign a percentage to how quickly I want it to run. By default, 100%, which means if the queue has five, a five second time, it's going to run at 100% of five seconds, which is five seconds. If I want the queue to happen twice as fast, say in 2.5 seconds, uh, I could in theory change the rate to 200% and it would go um, twice as fast. In order to do that, I pick the queue that I want to change. Let's just say, again, 104. And rate is also a soft key. It's actually on, on a different page. It's on my third page, uh, as soft key 5. And I can enter a rate anywhere from 1, which of course would slow things down quite a bit, to 2,000, which would speed it up quite a bit. And in this case, I'm going to pick uh, 200. And now Q104 is going to run in a rate of 200% of one second, which is actually going to be half a second. So when I hit go, you see that the queue happens very quickly. Now to undo any of these, uh, I simply have to say, if, like if I want to undo uh, the link that I put on Q103, I just say Q103 link clear, and it eliminates uh, the link. If I want to eliminate the rate, I just simply set it to 100, and it will uh, get rid of that. Now there may be some cases where you have follows in your queue list and you've got uh, queues automatically executing uh, the next queue in line but you you may want to just like if you're in tech uh, step from one queue to the next without all of those follows and all of those special timing parameters happening or split fade times or whatever so there's a feature in the desk called quick step and that's found as a soft key as well uh, it's on your second page of soft keys under soft key number one which is enable quick step and what that will do when I uh, enable it you'll see in my playback fader pairs, I've got quick step, it's flashing to tell me um, that I'm now basically disabling all of the timing. And if I run the cues, I basically, each time I push go, it's just snapping to the queue, um, and I, that way I can easily get through one queue to the next. And to turn quick step off, I simply hit soft key one again, and now my queue list will run uh, normally as I have it programmed. So those are your advanced queue playback options available to you on your Express Console.